Hey guys, we are going to yet again do something a little different. Um, and before anyone freaks out about materials costs, I'm just going to go over this real quick. Obviously, everyone doesn't have my goals necessarily, but if you do, watercolor pad, $5. Watercolor paint, $5. I got these pencils for $1.47. You can probably steal some from your child or go to the dollar store. Um, couple of old brushes. You can get brushes at the dollar store if you don't have them already, and a pen. So honestly, total about $12. And this is 25 sheets of paper, so plenty of projects. And this is plenty of paint to last you for like forever and ever and ever. <laughs> um, watercolor paint goes a long way. If you don't have watercolor paint or you don't have access to watercolor paint, um, I'm sure there are other things you can use, including coffee or even watered down acrylic. Okay, so don't let don't let that stop you. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're going to draw our eyes. Uh, the hardest part is drawing them approximately the same size and shape, hence why we start with a pencil. Um, and this isn't necessarily a lesson on drawing eyes. This is more just a fun project. Um, so I start with the basic almond shape, right? I like to tilt mine down a little bit on the inside and then this also goes down a little bit on the inside here. Kind of like a little teardrop almost. And then just end the other side in a basic almond shape. So then just do anything you need to to make them more or less the same shape. Okay, then we have the inside of the eye, which is not necessarily a full circle. You start from the top and go down, and there will be a little space left on the bottom. Once again, try to have these be approximately the same size. You may have to adjust as you go. And of course you can erase lines as you go if you want to also. Um, totally up to you. Make this one a little bigger. Okay, and then we have, of course, the pupil. Which you can make as big or as small as you want. Pupils are different sizes dependent upon the light. All right, and then we have the eyelid, which really simply just do a little line that goes pretty close to the top of the eye. That's really all you need to do. You can get fancier with it too, like make different shapes and whatever because um, it's not necessarily just a perfect line, but a, just doing a line works. All right, and then we have the eyelashes, which a lot of people just kind of do the sun kind of thing, but they really kind of go more at a diagonal, um, dependent upon the eye. So with the right eye, you go at a diagonal to the right, with the left eye, you go at a diagonal to the left. And that's really all there is to it. So that's the basic eye, okay? And now we're going to actually get into the watercolor part. And for anyone who hasn't been watercolored before, you can go right over the pencil and then it'll either hide the pencil or later on you could also go back and kind of erase some of that. Um, so we're gonna start with the eye color. So this one is Prussian blue, it says. It looks awfully dark. And I'm just reusing some old containers. Whoops, got a drop of water there. Um, and you really don't need a lot. Also, a little tip in case anyone didn't learn this at some point in their lives because it's not obvious. The back of these uh, lids on almost any kind of paints like this come with a little point so you just turn it over you use that to make your hole in it see that 
That's pretty cool, I think. All right, so we're going to make a blue here and I'm just adding a little bit of paint and a little bit of water and we'll get these stirred up. Let's see, I'm gonna just stir it with this medium. Ooh, that's a nice blue, okay. And there's not really anything like crazy special about mixing watercolor. You can add more water or less water to have a deeper color or a more washed out color. Either way, okay. So we're gonna start with this. We're gonna take some blue and I'm gonna make these eyes blue. And I'm gonna start by just adding like some blue lines going around here. I'm not doing the whole thing, not filling in the whole thing because um, the hardest thing with eyes is that they have different levels of light or dark. Okay, so there's a quick basic start there to the inside of our eyes. Um, and next, I'm going to uh, make some very watered down black. And make sure you have a cup to wash your colors out, by the way, guys. So this is going to be a very, very light gray, basically. At least that's what I'm going for. So once again, just a drop of the black. With some water. And we'll get this mixed up. So there's a lot of water in this cup. Mix it up well. And then you always wanna have some additional clear water on hand just in case you need some more. And also as a note, you always wanna have <laughs> some paper towels, not just to wipe up your spills, but um, in case if you get like a drop of something, a watercolor on there that you don't want, if you immediately press down on it, that should soak it up and then you don't have to worry about it. So the insides of the eye here are not perfectly white. Um, honestly, they're more of a little bit of a gray kind of color um, or probably actually more brown. Um, so we're gonna just fill it in with a little bit of color. Now see, I just made a mistake here because I accidentally touched my blue. So that brush is not gonna work for that. I'm gonna go with the smaller brush and work a little more delicately around it. In hindsight, I should have done this first before adding that blue. <laughs> um, it's been a while, so bear with me. So we're just adding a little bit of really light gray here. And we're gonna do more towards the corners and then it should lighten out as you go in. And as always, if you feel like you did too much, like on this eye, there's definitely more than that eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and blot it and you can go back in and do a little bit, do it a little bit differently. So it's kind of like you're a bit of an eraser tool, you know, the paper towel. Okay, we're not going to get too much more complicated with that. I'm going to leave it at it's a little bit of color and that's good. Okay, so next we're going to um, pretty much leave that as is and we're going to start working around it and then we're going to come back in at the eyelashes and stuff. All right, I'm going to go in here first with some blue because that's what I already have mixed up. And I'm gonna go here, right around the bottom of the eye. And I'm gonna have this kind of, like it's dripping down. And this is the part that you get to have, just have fun with. I'm gonna go in here with some extra water and kind of expand that. And I can go over here and dab it to give it a little bit of a different effect. 
All right. Now we'll go in here with a different color, or maybe we'll, you know what we can do too? We can splatter a bit. Let's go ahead and splatter a little bit of blue. There we go. All right, now we'll go in here with a different color. I'm gonna get in here with, I'm gonna get in here with some purple. All right, let's see, I'm gonna go over here with this, and I'm gonna just blot. We're kind of basically giving this the splattered paint effect. And I'll go in over here. What you can do too, so you just lift your paper up and you can drip. Good. Now I'm gonna get in here with some green. And long story short, you're just gonna keep doing that with as many colors as you want to fill it in. So let's just, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, great. So we've now got our basic coloring in. We're gonna let this dry and then we'll go on to the next step. All right, we're back and it's now dry. So um, we're gonna just go ahead and do details here. We're gonna put in our lines here again. So I've taken up some black that's mixed with just a very little bit of water, so it's pretty concentrated. I'm taking my small brush here and I'm going to basically go ahead and put back in these lines for the eyes. Um, I've also done this with an ink pen. If you have, a, not like a ballpoint, but uh, like a gel ink pen. And the important reason for you to wait for it to dry when you do this is if you don't, then that will bleed into the rest there. So, Once again, if you make a mistake, like putting too much paint down, just quickly blot it with the paper towel and you'll be fine. Good. Now we need to finish the rest of the inside of the eye. So in retrospect, I really shouldn't have done that blue in the first place, um, but that's fine. You know, happy accidents. We're gonna take now just some very watered down blue and kind of fill in the rest. Of course, you can do any colors you want. It does not have to be blue. Could be brown eyed, could be purple, could be green, whatever you want. You know, you wanna do something Halloween themed or whatever. Go ahead. You want to make it into dragon eyes? Go ahead. All right. Obviously, be careful with your black on this part. Okay. Now we're going to get into doing the pupil here. So once again, solid black. If your outside is very dry or very wet, let it dry. Um, and the key thing with this pupil is A, we want as solid black as you can get, and B, you want to leave just like a tiny little part of white, just a smidge, so we have a little light reflection. You can also do that in the um, iris as well, the, that blue part, um, but because I didn't do that already, <laughs> we're just going to do it in the pupil. 
and the pupil I usually like to do a little bit of extra work on because it kind of I think sometimes makes or breaks the painting. So I may actually even come back and do more. We'll see. For now I'm just going to get it as black as I want and don't go for a perfect circle guys. In fact I like to let it kind of the edges kind of run into the other into the iris a little bit. I think it kind of adds to the effect. There we go. I think we're done. Um, so at this point, if you want to, you can take a pen, you know, when it's done and you can outline. Actually, now that I put the little eyelashes on the bottom of that one, I got to do a little bit on this one. And these ones are really, really fine and small, so you don't have to do a lot on that at all. Of course, you can go back over your lines again if you want and double up on any lines. Um, you can go back into this, to the blue part if you want, and add a bit more color. You know, definitely play around with it. Eyes are, I think, just in general gorgeous. Um, they have a lot of character and they're very unique and if you actually like really look at them they're um, They have so many colors and shades and everything um, Yeah, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to sign your picture and Voila, let's do a close-up all right, I couldn't figure out how to film this not from an angle, so. Um, yeah, here we go. There's our watercolor eyes with our, oh my gosh, that's so cool. I just love doing this. I don't know why I don't do it more often. I think I forget. Anyways, with the paint splatters over here, um, paint drips. fake drips <laughs> and there you go all right guys I really hope you enjoyed this um, definitely try something new even if you don't have watercolors you know try this out with maybe some um, watered down acrylics or even coffee or you know uh, maybe even try it as an acrylic pour I'm sure you could do something similar um, yeah don't forget to subscribe I'll see you next time